Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you possibly the easiest way how to deploy 360 degree images in your apps on iPhone and use them using the headset. So let's get started. We will use not only a little bit of Xcode but as well Unity. Unity as you might know is the leading VR development engine. So I will make a new project in Unity. Okay. Save our scene. Call it main. And um, I will drag in my image into assets. Now, next one, uh, let's create a sphere as we will use it for viewing this 360 degree image. Let's scale it up to, let's say, 55, 55, 55, and zoom out. Okay. Now, uh, next, we will need the material which we will attach to the sphere to view the image. So, create new material. Now let's call it 360 material. And attach the image to material as a texture. Albedo. Okay. Now, next step, we can attach this new material to the sphere. Just drag and drop. And as you can see, we have laid out uh, the image on the sphere. We also need to make sure that the camera is centered in the center of the sphere, so I will position it to 0, 0, so that we are inside. You need to also think about rendering of 360 image, uh, because the thing is that you cannot really uh, render image to inside of the object, but only to outside of the object. So as you can see, as I'm zooming in inside the sphere, uh, it actually does not render an image for me. So we will need to uh, create a special shader for that to allow rendering uh, towards inside of the sphere. So let's make a new shader and uh, I will just call it 360 shader. Now, next one, we will need to attach the shader to the material. Okay. As you can see, I have attached it to the material. For the shader to work, we need to change the code of the shader. So I will open the code. And in fact, um, we cannot use this code, so we'll just delete it. And we need to add a new code. And one of the most efficient things to do is actually to check what's available online as open source. And I have found one very good contributor on GitHub. So let's check it out. And it's this address. and. So somebody, very good person, have already created the code for us. And to save some time, just simply copy the code from this address on GitHub, which is freely available for use. And go back to the shaders code and paste it. Okay, and build it. So it works. And so I'm going back to Unity. We have the code attached to the shader now. And um, if I move inside the sphere, you can see that, yes, we have managed to actually render the image inside the sphere, but it's a little dark. So let's check what's happening with the light. So I select on, on light and um, Let's change it to point so that it's not just in one direction, but we will 
lighten this inside of the object um, at the same level in it's still dark and that's why I would suggest to basically change the range of this light we should change it a lot actually and now it's getting lighter as you can see okay much better now so enough I believe now uh, we can deploy it actually on the device enable uh, VR for this application so uh, we need to go so we need to go to player settings and the project settings and we need to select uh, this mobile iPhone area uh, as we will be deploying on iPhone and we need to check virtual reality supported checkbox so we check virtual reality supported and also we need to add cardboard SDK by clicking plus and selecting so next we're gonna build the project so go to go to build settings iOS and uh, click build and now next thing we we need to create a folder for iOS build so I will just make a new fill new folder and uh, call it iOS build save and now it will take some time to build up the application so let's wait okay and now we have successfully built the application in Xcode project and it's recommended that you use um, the white workspace icon to open it so and I have actually two Xcodes installed in my computer and I would suggest not to use beta if you have it just use the stable release uh, latest Xcode uh, 8 so um, open it up you need to make sure that um, you have selected team yeah connect your iPhone and deploy it on your iPhone by by building it so it will take again quite some time be patient and um, since uh, I cannot show you screen record of my mobile when it's in VR mode uh, using um, QuickTime player I will just show you from uh, how it looks like uh, in in the real world so just a moment so once you deploy the application on uh, your mobile device it looks something like this so you can uh, rotate it around and see what's happening in 360 degrees and needless to say needless to say you can also Try it on your headset, just uh, put it in. And enjoy viewing. <laughs>